Welcome back to the channel. Um, I got this Hotshot uh, Age of Extinction for something like 10 bucks at a local toy shop near me. Um, I don't have a complete mold of this guy. So this is the Crosshairs mold. I think I have it without, like, the head and the guns. Um, ended up getting a lot, whatever. I want to take a look at that mold. So, this sealed for 10 bucks, and I like the colors, and it, it's one of those random repaints that I've somewhat always liked. So, why not take a look at it? Figured show off the box here before I open it. Um, I did not buy Transformers when Age of Extinction came out. Of course, I watched all the movies, loved them, um, bought them all, but... I, was, I didn't buy any of the figures for whatever reason. So this logo is pretty nostalgic seen on the shelf, but I didn't buy any at the time. So got the logo, which I'm pretty sure his picture is literally just crosshairs repainted. Um, back, bio if you do want to read that, other figures, blah, blah, blah. Not much there, but look figure. So Studio Series boxes definitely are more... What's the word I'm looking for? Not not like perfect, more more clean, I guess. But these are just nostalgic reasons. Again, as I said, I am Age of Extinction, but even first first movie, second movie, third movie, Prime, animated. Weren't they all in this shell like this? So it's nice having Studio Series box, but it, it's just seeing these are pretty nostalgic. But let's crack this guy open. Um, um basically transformed here having some issues whether it's just my end or the old age plastic what age of extinction came out 2014 am i right on that i don't think that was dark of the moon i think that was age of extinction 2014 so that movie is just about 10 years old at this point um this is probably just user error having an issue with the back piece here but some of the plastic does not want to tap well i guess i got to tap in but i'm assuming if i fixed the back pieces it would definitely roll better but i'm just having issues and i do not want to break it but autobot logos on there pretty good there's really no paint on the autobot logo looks like there's some black there some black on the front um where the feet are lights it the robot mode definitely looks better um there, there really is nothing else to say about the vehicle mode. I, it, It's all the same blue. It, it looks very cheap. Um, I mean, it definitely could be a worse color blue, but there's not much else to expect. Size comparisons. Here he is with some basically knockoff Star Wars Black Series. Try and get them in frame. Here he is with the Rise of the Beast Optimus. So the vehicle mode is kind of smaller. And here he is with, if I can get him fixed, Rise of the Beast uh, Wheeljack. Here he is transformed. This guy is definitely more of a pain than I would have liked him to be. Um, I guess starting off accessories before we get into the complaints. The main gun i guess whatever um then the two little i guess pistols whatever they have storage the other one is up there there's a little i think these are well no are these smaller than five millimeters something like that port whole way under here um pegs pretty small can get them in the hands um whatever with that so at least comes with some stuff. Um, would rather add two of the bigger guns, like everybody said with the crosshairs. Um, the paint. The paint looks all right. I think it's got more paint on here than vehicle mode, so I like the look of this better. I like the face, even though it's all white. Um, the goggles stand out. Like I like the is it orange or red? Whatever paint they use definitely looks pretty decent. Blue paint looks, or well, the blue plastic at least. Looks better in robot mode. Probably helps with all the colors. Um, it's it's not the best, but definitely decent. Let's see. The stupid piece keeps popping out. Whatever. That'll stay there. 
um, articulation, this guy's got some issues. So the head has a decent side to side. It's on a ball, can't go much up and down. The arms, so out. I don't think, probably if you force it enough, you can do a 360. Technically, double joints here, full transformation. Um, what? Why can't I think of what that joint's called? Whatever. Upper arm rotation, hands are on a hinge, or, well, swivel. Nothing at the torso. We got the legs pull the skirts out. Forward, back hits the back piece. So, it's a single joint knee, but the way they have it designed, the knee is at an angle. And it can just swivel there. It, it's it's pretty weird design. I think it looks pretty good, but it's, it's kind of hard to get some range out of. Um, the feet, toes can move up and down. Um, I don't think there's, yeah, nothing at the ankle. It's about it for the legs. So, articulation um, could be worse. Nowadays, it's better than this. Um, I hate these freaking, it's not cloth, but rubber, I guess. It's kind of smart. I think it works decently, but I don't know. It's it's not working much anymore. Um, let's see. Any other issues? The whole back, and there he goes out of my hand. The whole back is just clear plastic. That's half the issue with this guy. I don't. What's their deal with clear plastic and doing that? It's. Everything just feels like it wants to break on the back, which if it does, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to complain. It will look better with it off, but, um, you know, I'm not probably going to purposely do that. Um, I guess some size comparisons for him. If, we, if he'll stand. Um, here he is besides that, uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus. Knock off, um, Black Series. Besides Little Jack, and just I guess because he's here, a uh, Cobra Kai Power Rangers. So I, I guess basically there he is. Um, quick video here on him. Some things I love, some things I hate. I think he looks great on. I think he'll look great on the shelf. He'll stand out at least, at least on my movie shelf. I'm put him there, even though he was not in the movies. I'm gonna keep him, put him up on display. But some things they did, I hate these rubber pieces. I just, they get in the way and they come out all the time. And it's just, I, you try and fix them and it's, it's just a pain in the butt. And there, there goes. So I guess I'll show this off here real quick. If you can see on the camera. Go ahead and just pegs into that port there. Which apparently it doesn't even want to stay in that port, but... Okay, whatever with that one. And try and fix that. See if I can get this. Just having all kinds of issues with this guy. But yeah, I like the paint. On well, the robot mode at least. Um, I like that orangish red. Looks good with the blue and the white and the grays. But there's not a ton of amazing stuff about this guy. Like, like I am. You don't need to go track this down. You know, if you're trying to buy every figure from what Age of Extinction or want this mold or this color, or like the figure, blah, 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 whatever, then get it. But th I don't really see any reason to, you know, go out of your way to get this figure. Um, if you have them or owned them, let me know what you thought or why you got rid of them. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.